Hey everyone! This is my fifth time trying to vlog. I figured if I stood up, my dog wouldn't bug me. He keeps bugging me because I was sitting down trying to do this. Um, I'd like to let everybody know I'm now 19 weeks in my pregnancy and I'm already ready for it to be over, to be quite honest with you. Um, this Monday, November 29th, I will go for my detailed ultrasound and I will find out whether I'm having a boy or a girl. And I hope to have a vlog shortly thereafter uh, announcing to the world, boy or girl. And uh, so I won't make any promises though, because every time I promise to vlog, I just never do. Um, I just haven't felt like vlogging lately. I wanted to talk again about living with fibromyalgia as well as living with post-traumatic stress disorder, which are the two things that I deal with on a regular basis. And I've been off my meds for almost four months now. And every day since my drugs left my system has been a struggle. I can't even begin to express in words how difficult it has been for me to fight through the pain and the emotional strain of dealing with the nightmares, the night terrors, the chills, the flashbacks, um, as well as all on top of all that, the physical pain of my fibromyalgia. Um, I, I, I just, I wanted to make a vlog about it to try and make people understand, you know, that it's not some crazy thing that's in your head. It's very real and it's very scary, um, especially with PTSD. You can lose control of your emotions so easily and you, you come under fire within yourself, you know, and you attack your, yourself with your own thoughts and, you, you know, you kind of feel like you're self-destructing. And I fought for a very long time to suppress all those feelings to ignore them and with the help of medication I was able to really regain control of my life. I was able to take back my life uh, both physically and mentally and as most people know that when, when you're under emotional stress your physical pain becomes worse. Um, uh, you know if you've ever seen those commercials depression hurts. It's true. PTSD hurts. It doesn't just hurt you emotionally, psychologically, it hurts you physically. And that on top of fibromyalgia really made it difficult for me to live. But I got on medication and I've seen a counselor so often that we're like best of buds now. <laughs> Highly recommend having someone to talk with. And it was nice to be able to regain a sense of self. And now I feel that I've lost that again. That I'm right back where I first started and it's scary and I don't know how to cope and I don't know how to deal and unfortunately I'm only allowed X amount of sessions with my counselor and then after that's done I've got two sessions with her left after that's done where do I go you know there's not a lot of help that is offered for people who have PTSD as well as fibromyalgia you know so I decided to vlog and keep everyone up to date and maybe you are going through some of the same stuff and you know maybe you've been through the same type of experience or know someone who has and maybe you can kinda give me a hint or two because I'm not sleeping right I'm not eating right and that worries me I've always been a little bit of a worry wart but now I'm even like more paranoid because I have a child growing and you want what's best for you know your baby and it feels like I'm trying so hard to take care of my baby that I'm forgetting to take care of myself or that I'm trying so hard to get my sh together that I'm forgetting to take care of my every everything else and my baby is suffering and that's you know my mind going a hundred miles per hour you know uh, I'm not sleeping properly anymore the night terrors have come back and those were one of the hardest things that I dealt with with PTSD was reliving the memories over and over again and there's nothing out there 
There's nothing they can, you know, no one has even tried to work with me to help me through it. You know what I mean? It's more of suck it up. You've got to deal with it for, um, my camera's shaking because my dog is walking around it. Sorry. Suck it up. You've got to deal with it for, you know, five and a half more months until the baby's born. And it's like, that's all you have to offer me. You know, you can't push me in the right direction. You can't show me a place to go or someone I could talk to, something, anything. They just don't, they just don't care. I mean, that's what it feels like anyway. And I'm sure if I did more research, if I asked around more often, maybe I would finally get an answer. But it's so stressful that I've just really begun to kind of melt down. And it's so hard to want to get up every day and go forward because you just feel so horrible on the inside. You know, I'm trying to, my brain, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, when I would tell my doctor what I was going through, I was, I would say, it's like my brain can't process through the emotions fast enough. So I'm dealing with emotional stress, physical stress, you know, bad memories, you know, this, that, and the other. And it's all like, you know, and you're trying to process through each and every one of them fast enough to heal yourself. And I'm, you know, I had come to a really bad place in my life, you know, a few years ago where I was unable to process through those emotions at all. And I did real dumb things. Maybe I'll vlog about that another day, but we won't go into that, into that now. And I'm afraid in my own mind that I'll go back down that path that self-destructive path where I cannot process through the emotions fast enough and I end up doing something that ends up becoming regrettable. You know, I, I'd, like to, I'd like to think that I'm a strong person and that I have come so far in my struggle with PTSD and fibromyalgia that uh, I can conquer it, I can beat it, but Sometimes I just, I wonder, can I do this? Can I keep going forward? You know, I wake up and some days I'm happier than, you know, you know, I've got this little life growing inside of me. I'm so excited. You know, I'm going to be a mom for the first time ever. Oh, holy moly. And then suddenly that over, overwhelming sense of fear, you know, something stupid will trigger a stupid memory from, you know, my childhood and I crumble and it's so depressing. Or some days I wake up and I'm in so much physical pain that I can barely move and I just stay in bed for the entire day. You know, I try to, you know, I, I'm, you know, even though I'm 19 weeks pregnant and I'm showing and all that goody goody good stuff, I'm trying to keep active. I'm still suffering from major bouts of morning sickness. It's not morning sickness, it's all, all day sickness. It doesn't, you know, just hit you in the morning. It goes at you whenever it wants. Oh, you're not feeling now. You're not feeling well now. Barf! <laughs> so, and it doesn't matter how many pills I take, it just seems to want, oh, barf! <laughs> so that, on top of my physical pain, my emotional strain, I'm like, I'm gonna lose it. I feel like I'm actually going to lose my bleepin' mind. And I just don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I try to talk to people, and sometimes it's like talking to brick walls. Do you get me? Do you understand me? You know, hello. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's, unless, I mean, pregnant women can say, oh, well, I've never experienced that when I was pregnant. Well, every pregnant woman is different, yes. But how many pregnant women out there can say, I'm pregnant, I have fibromyalgia, and I suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. Not many. So someone who's never been through what I've been through cannot relate. They can't even begin to fathom it. They think they can, and they think they can give you advice, but you can't because you've not stood where I'm standing. Don't get me wrong. Any advice, I, will, I am totally willing to accept. I want 
to believe that there is something out there that's gonna help me. Something! Anything! But it sometimes feels it's like a lost cause. It really does. And I can't explain it. It just does. My dog is getting in the way again. Do you hear him? He's talking. Mm. We're gonna end the vlog now because Mr. Stinky Princeton is attention deprived today. As you can see, do you want to come up? You want to come up? Okay. Thank you. Want to get on camera? This is this is my first son, and he came into my life at one of the worst peaks of my life. Um, I was in a lot of emotional and physical pain. It was before I got on all my medication and got therapy, and I cannot tell you the healing properties a dog has. He has been my my little prince. You know, we but we just bought him a shirt today that says "Naughty Bugger," because this cute little face here is a naughty bugger. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, I'll try to vlog again uh, this coming Monday with the good news. To me, it's good news. And any advice for anybody out there who's dealt with PTSD? who's dealt with fibro, who's had to go off medication, who's been pregnant, who has been on medication and had to go off it, I am willing to listen to your advice. Anything that you can say or do to help me would be greatly appreciated. Much, much appreciated. And to all those people that I'm a bitch to, I'm really, really sorry. I'm trying my best to get it all under control, but it's not always easy. So, till next time, see ya and have a great evening or morning. Depends on when you're watching this.